Hello, mechanical engineers. I was uh, having a conversation with one of my uh, uh, one of my student, and uh, I, I came to one conclusion that uh, people are really not aware about uh, what is happening in the real world as far as the explicit uh, dynamic analysis is concerned. So I know uh, the static linear, static non-linear analysis has a very good, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, penetration in uh, uh, in the uh, college life. But uh, to be very frank, uh, people are really unaware about uh, explicit dynamic, that is a non-linear impact analysis or a crash analysis or a, uh, what you can say, drop test. So basically the drop test, impact and crash, physically they are kind of same. Uh, they have the similar boundary conditions but uh, what is a drop uh, essentially it's for the handheld devices uh, what is an impact is maybe for uh, let us imagine you have a gantry crane and that crane ha is going to hit at the extreme end uh, to the floor or uh, a wall uh, I mean to say and in that case uh, it's going to be called as an impact and then there is also going to be a crash which generally involves uh, occupant. So uh, these three are going to have a similar kind of a boundary condition. But people are really not aware how to solve these kind of problems using uh, very effective tools such as LS Dyna. So uh, comment if you, uh, if you wish to know more about explicit dynamic and uh, we will try to have some more videos. I am yet to deliver one more video about LS Dyna and Hypermesh interview questions and I am still getting a lot of questions from the uh, users so I am compiling them. Maybe in a week's time I will be able to compile all the questions along with the answers and uh, then uh, we will be in a position to upload a video. Okay, That's it for now. Thanks a lot.